just checked out of Universal. It's 9.13 now. We called the uh, Bellman around uh, 8.45 and it took them about 15 minutes to show up. Now we're on I-4 heading towards Disney. We're gonna go to Grand Floridian, which we've never been. It's a super fancy place, so we're looking forward to it. Um, it was a really good discount, so uh, I was like, okay, gotta grab this discount. Um, today is President's Day, so we are blocked out from our Disney tickets today, but we're gonna spend some time at Disney Springs. We're gonna go to Chef Art Smith's Homecoming for the first time. And um, the Disney Springs ticket shop, uh, I, I chatted with someone on the Disney app and they said that I could actually go there and get my passes activated um, with our photo ID. So that'll be much better than trying to do it in the full scale line at Animal Kingdom tomorrow morning. So uh, come with us on our next adventure and we'll go hang out at Grand Floridian and see what we can get into. We made it! Here Keep we go. left after two miles. We're passing through some construction right now. There's the Polynesian. There's the new giant Polynesian DVC tower, which I didn't know it was gonna be that big. And then those steeples over there is the Grand Floridian where we're going. I can't believe how big that building is though. I I'm not sure if it matches the theming. I guess we'll see. This looks like it doesn't. Oh, it looks like a resort in front of a, a beach in Florida. Like a, you go to Panama City. And you're, you're, staying, you're staying at a high rise resort in Panama City. It's not even classy looking. I definitely Is that it? No. get that. Made it to the Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. Very exciting. We have to give our name. Oh. I just remembered I need to get our. Magic bands. No, I don't. We're not going to the park today. We don't need magic bands. Monorail. This is kind of exciting. We've never been at a monorail resort. What? Where's chicken? So those are the villas, so we're not going over there. That's DVC if you rent points or anything. So we're gonna go this way. Here's your monorail. Check in and unload our bags. And then we'll head back out to Disney Springs for a bit. That's so cool though. We get to see the monorail. See the buggy? Look at that old car. Do you want a picture in front of it? No, Dad. No? They use that for weddings. Wait, what? I bet you they use that for princesses and weddings. Good morning, how are you? Yeah, there is a wedding place here. Yeah? There's a bit of construction still going on, but most of it's almost finished. Yeah, see, they have some more scrim up here. We're gonna go check in. Figure out if our room is ready. Probably not. And then we're gonna go hang out. <gasps> Look, James. I've never been in here before. Looks so pretty. Oh, <laughs> is that a Pluto? Can you find another one? Is that Goofy? Oh, who's that? Um, Daisy. Minnie? Minnie. Who's that? Mickey, Mickey yeah. My favorite is Mickey and Pluto. What about that one? Donald. Donald, is that fun or what? I wonder if Daisy's around here. I think that might be it. No. Nope. Looks like I don't see any Daisy. <laughs> Maybe Daisy That's funny. Maybe Daisy Look up, buddy. Whoa. So just so you know, all of the rooms in the main lobby area around here, I believe that they are club level rooms. So unless you are getting a club level room, you will not be in the main uh, tower here. Cause we're gonna go to our room, buddy. Oh, I want to go outside. It is. We gotta go outside to get to our room. Holy moly! Look at this place. Look, you can make your own puff of course. You can. Oh. What? That's cute. 
We should get that. That would be cute for our yard. All right, we're going this way. <laughs> we're going to our room. All right, so this is the main building we just came out of um, with lots of restaurants and bars. There is the adult kind of more mature pool. Kids are allowed in there though. It's just kind of quieter, I think. There's a really fun kids pool that way. Um, well, you can see it right there. I see it, buddy. Come with me. Uh, you can see the splash pad over there. Oh, it's a little chilly. This is Sugarloaf. I was trying to get in that building because it's the closest to the bus stop, which is around the corner that way. But we're in the next building down there, Conk Key. But it's surrounded by water on two sides. So we could end up with a nice view. Or we could end up with a view over this way. But it's nice and quiet here, which I like. We could end up with a view saying <laughs> magic, magic Kingdom. I don't think we're going to get that lucky. Yep, that one. Yeah, oh, we do see the Magic Kingdom from here. How cute. <laughs> I don't think we'll see it from our bedroom. We'll be very lucky if we get a resort view room, but we just got like a garden view instead of a water or Magic Kingdom view. That's what they told you? That's what I paid for. Oh. That's what I chose on my own. Look at this pretty cherry blossom. Wow. It's chilly, but it's a really beautiful day, finally, after two solid days of nonstop rain. Two solid days. Two solid days. Here we are, Conky. And there's a little marina on the other side of this where you can rent pontoon boats and go check out. Oh, look, James, there's the monorail coming out of uh the contemporary bay Lake tower oh there's narcoosies so this is where narcoosies is, is that? Yep. Is that bird, i see Good. smile and wave james <laughs> these are all newly renovated with subtle hints of mary poppins Ooh, what's that smell it smells nice in here all right so uh, I'm pretty sure there's a laundry room, maybe off to the side here. Oh, don't even think about it. <laughs> Daddy's thinking paper airplane off the balcony. <laughs> Do I know you, honey, or what? Okay, there's ice. All right, ice and bending. Yeah, all right. So I'm gonna be coming down here. Sweet. It's 325 a load, so oh, that man. is cheap. And then they have a vending machine for cleaning stuff. For delicious Tide Pods. <laughs> but I have a Tide Pod already. Okay, don't run. Look at this gorgeous carpet. I love it. We can make a paper airplane, a perfect one. Can and it goes, play? look, look, there's water out there, bud. If we're lucky, we might get this view, but I don't think we'll get that lucky either. Yeah, there's the castle and the marina. And then there's a quick service right downstairs in the bottom of the main building there. So it'll be quick and easy to come out back here and go straight in to get a quick service breakfast. I love this furniture. Very pretty. Ready, buddy? Yes. And I go up to four. What do you think, buddy? Is it nice? Yeah. I like how quiet the resort is. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Let's look. Seven, four. This way. Okay. Two, four. Won't be water view, but it'll be nice. Oh, we're almost there. Nice and close to the elevator, but not too close. 
Four, two, four. Ooh, I like the music. <laughs> What's it doing? <gasps> Happy birthday, James! <laughs> Oh no! Hey, I can see water. I'm happy with that. Oh my gosh, this place is huge. Oh, look. I was not expecting it. I was not expecting oh, it's on heat. <laughs> look, James, you gotta sleep on the couch and mommy. There we go. Oh, wait. Wait. It was supposed to be a king. Uh, oh well. Guess we're sleeping in two rooms. Two beds, you mean? Two beds, I mean, sorry. Oh man, this is a huge bathroom. Really nice remodel. I don't know where the light switch is for in here. What Very heck? nice. What the heck? Where come the TV? There's a big old bathtub, sliding door with a soft close. That's nice. Ooh, we got H2O soaps on the counter. Do we have H2O soap in here? Ah, no, when they did the remodel, they gave us the annoying pieces in the wall. That is boo. I thought they would, at least for the deluxe resorts, give you that. Oh, we have use of robes while we're here, which is nice. He's gonna need that extra pillow and blanket. Keurig with coffees. Those are going to go home with me. And then apparently this is like a cooler, not a fridge. Oh, it's cold. It's most, uh, it's coldish. It's a, okay. Then don't touch it. Cause they knew it was your birthday. We got some lights. Well, I want to say this might be a bigger room than a king. So, I guess that's good. Because I ordered a king. I asked for a king. James isn't going to be able to see out of this balcony without being lifted, but at least we got a little bit of water. Well, there you go. Found a fancy hair dryer here. I like that that has some nice lights. Just started a load of laundry. It's gonna be 28 minutes. You just scan the barcode with your phone camera and pay for it with Apple Pay. And it tells you how much time you have. So it's 28 minutes for a normal load. And, uh, and it'll ding you on your phone when it's done. So that's really cool. So the elevator's right there, and this is our room. So it's nice and close. This is just a normal view, not a special water view or anything like that. So that's pretty neat. Not a bad view at all. I love how quiet it is here. It's definitely for more mature people. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> us old people that like things to be quiet. <laughs> there goes a boat. One of the ferries coming from the Ticket and Transportation Center. Well, we should get to see the electrical water parade come through here too. Thank you. 
It was way too cold today, though, to go swimming. We're in Floridian. Home for the next four days. There's where the monorails are. I'm on the second story. I'm gonna go into Basin White. This place smells good and I see bath bombs, which I'm a sucker for bath bombs. Sugar souffle. Pot of gold. Mmm, lemon, sugar, lavender, almond, satsuma. Oh wow, that smells good. Grapefruit. Mmm, can't tell that flavor. Got foam soaps, body scrub, sweet chiffon. It's very hard to tell, but oh, this one's strawberry. Mm. Cherry watermelon. Mm. Bath salts. Bath bomb. Green clover aloe. They have, what are these? Bath bomb marbles. So you drop a couple in. Lip balm, some cute soap. Sweet fruit cereal. <laughs> it does. It smells like fruity pebbles, but with more lemon. Cherry watermelon. Mm. Oh, sweet coconut. I do like coconut. Well, obviously, there's enough to keep a girl busy in here for a while. <laughs> and then across from the basin shop is the Mickey Mouse Mercantile. There's another store downstairs as well with clothes and gear and stuff. Oh, that's cute. Do they light up? How do they light up? That'd be pretty neat. Hmm. Has all four parks. How cute is that? From the movie wish, but then you could also wear it on the Disney wish. That would be cute. Princess dolls. Ooh, giant train sets. Oh no, yeah, it is a train set. Wow, that's pretty cool. Beautiful staircase. And over there, you have the Enchanted Rose, which is the uh, bell from Beauty and the Beast. Um, upscale bar, it has some light bites as well, if you just want to have a cocktail. And uh, and a light bite. 
has a very nice view of the pool. And that's a full lap of the second floor. Up here you will also find Victoria and Albert's, which is closed right now, and Citrico's, which is open. And there are stairs. Okay. Victoria and Albert's is a very high-end dining establishment that's, I want to say, about $200 before before uh, COVID. It was about $200 per person for uh, a set menu meal. But I don't know what it'll be when it comes back. Probably the same. And then now we're on the second floor. I mean, the first floor. There's another store over here. Oh, there's the Garden View Lounge, which I don't think that's open since COVID either. Um, I may be wrong. This is Curiouser Clothiers. So more high-end stuff than the mercantile up, up top. So if you've forgotten a nice outfit, oh, that's kind of cute, isn't it? That little set. Very cute. T for one. Oh, well, that's a cute suit. Yeah, it is Lily Pulitzer. Okay. I thought it might be. Got some Pandora in here. Some sunglasses and watches. Oh, those are cute. Larry. Oh. Get some of the things you may have forgotten. Get some games and books. <laughs> Even frozen things for the DBC side, that's nice. Candies, wines, popcorn, shortbread. Oh, I saw some of these in Animal Kingdom the other day. They're really cute. Oh, that's DVC Resorts. That's cute. There you go. the Gasparilla Island Grill. Here's where you can get your Coke freestyle and everything filled up. Get coffee, tea, hot cocoa. Oh, you get Mickey Premium Bars. Actually, that's cool. And the ice cream sandwiches. Breakfast items. Beers, wines, salads, breakfast items. Oh, pastries. Oh, 
what's that? Banana, no. What is that? Mickey brownie, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, Mickey brownie, I think. I do job who's coffee here. Okay, sweet. Look at this gorgeous view. <gasps> Fun. Me and my loves those. That's her spear daughter. Going on into Conk Key. They're playing Moana on the big screen on the lawn. Thursday night. They have different movies. They have a little concession stand. How cute. Wow. This is, this is our building right here. So you can see the fireworks from right outside our building. And you can hear the music too. Crocodile. That was a Loch Ness monster. There's some seahorses. Where's the Loch Ness monster? It just the light went out. I don't know why. Is that King Triton? Yeah, King Triton. That's all. Yep. Good That's night. it. Good morning, everyone. It is 6.09. We are checking out. Uh, we were third in line for uh, waiting on a bellman already this morning, so Michael just went to the lobby to get a cart and he'll bring it back. Uh, we really liked our stay here at Grand Floridian. Um, the beds were really comfortable. Uh, the shower gets nice and hot and has nice fixtures, but it doesn't have great water pressure. Um, the the fridge actually was a fridge once we cranked it up. It um, worked well as a refrigerator and um, there was not enough closet space, not at all. We didn't even bring our garment bag. We, t we just forgot it at home. Uh, so I, <laughs> we went out and I bought one dress and he bought one shirt to at least wear, but it didn't even fit a small size suitcase. So we had to kind of lay it sideways and in. Um, <clears throat> I love the fact that it had this big countertop in here for all of our stuff, but I wish it had a place for a large size suitcase and enough uh, hanging space for um, nice clothes. 
Um, I don't understand why hotels keep replacing closets with a bunch of shelves. Maybe I'm the only person that hangs stuff up anymore, but I would prefer a place to lay our suitcase um, <clears throat> and then hang up clothes and shirts and things. So um, that's kind of one very small hiccup that I think they should not be renovating like this when they're doing these soft furnishing reboots. But um, everything else was beautiful. The floor is lovely. The, the colors are nice. It's a very calm, relaxing room. The lamps and everything, there's lots of different kinds of lighting, which is great. So you can set kind of the mood that you want. And the location to Magic Kingdom was fantastic. It was so easy to do the fireworks and then just hop on a ferry. Um, <clears throat> I thought, see, if you catch the monorail at just the right time, getting to Epcot is not a big deal. But if you miss one of those monorails, you have to wait another 10 minutes for it to do a full loop. So we ended up, it took us an hour to get to the front of Epcot twice. So um, just build that into your plans. Uh, because we expected it to take half an hour or less, and it doesn't if you miss one of those uh, monorails. But I would say I probably wouldn't be back here. It's a bit old, maybe, um, and it is a classic Disney hotel, so that's probably why it's a little older. But, um, I mean, why it feels a little bit older, but uh, I think next time we want to try the poly or the contemporary because um, those are also on the monorail and that would be neat to try as well. So thank you for coming along on this venture and we'll see you next time.